Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we do have four very important topics to talk about in today's video. There is so much going on within FC Barcelona. We are first going to be talking about Lionel Messi and when we should expect him to come back into the squad list and make it just in time for the Super Cup final. Then we're going to be moving on to the possibilities of when we could see Eric Garcia and Erling Haaland to FC Barcelona in this year of 2021. There's been so much talks about these two players lately and being linked with FC Barcelona and so I'm going to try my absolute best to try and make it very simple to understand just where these players do stand in the current market and if Barcelona do have the capabilities to sign these two players and then lastly we are going to be talking about the elections I do believe that out of all of the topics that we are going to be talking about one of the most important topics has to be about the elections and right now it is certainly not looking good when it comes to having the elections on January 20th. 24th. And so starting with the first topic, and we are first going to talk about Lionel Messi. Now in the previous match between Barcelona and Sociedad, Messi did not feature within that game. But even without Messi, Barcelona were able to make it to the final of the Super Cup. And to be very honest, seeing this Barcelona team, seeing how they are so capable to win without Lionel Messi, I still think that even if Messi does miss that match, we all want to see Messi lift a trophy with this club. And right now, every fan is looking after Lionel Messi asking when is he going to come back and is he going to make it just in time to make it to that final with Barcelona and potentially lift that trophy and then it says here according to Javi Miguel Messi has undergone through an ultrasound earlier today that showed a minor tear on his left leg he is not ruled out for the final yet but he is in serious doubt but Messi has not thrown the towel yet then he continues to say Messi plans to enter the list this Friday and travel with the team to Sevilla with the challenge of taking part in the sessions. If the sensations are positive, he could return. In the end, the final decision for Messi's fitness will be made just before the game. So let me make it very clear. Even if Messi does feature within the squad list, which we will get on Saturday, that does not mean that Messi is going to be guaranteed to play against whoever's going to be in that final. What we are going to see is Messi joining the squad list, examine Messi before that final final does take place and then maybe just potentially witness the same thing that did happen within the semi-final a last minute call is going to be made but I do think that it's very interesting to hear that Messi is going to be taken even though there is a 50% chance that he's going to be playing or not because keep in mind if Messi is in that squad list he is taking another player's spot and we do not know if Messi is going to be playing or not I think that this is telling us that Barcelona really do value Lionel Messi's presence because if we were to look at what did happen in yesterday's game Messi was speaking to the players before extra time did start these players these youngsters needed Messi's words and I do think that that is why Ronald Koeman is so willing to take Messi with him regardless if he's going to be playing or not because he is showing some sort of leadership that not many people are really talking about right now and I do think that when it comes to Messi's leadership these are the type of things the players need to experience throughout the game they do need it so as we do get closer to that match for the super cup final within the pre-match preview we are going to be discussing if Messi does miss this final and he does not make it the one question that has to be discussed is if Barcelona do manage to win the final without Lionel Messi what could that mean for this squad and most importantly what could that mean for Ronald Koeman now moving on to the next topic of today and we are going to be talking about Erling Halan. And it says here, according to Oriol Domenech, Mino Raiola in his power will try his absolute best to try and place his client Erling Haaland to FC Barcelona. Now there were many questions that did arise when this statement and this report did come out. And one of the main questions that has been asked about Erling Haaland potentially moving to Barcelona is, is this report reliable? Does this report hold truth? Now I am going to be making three very valid points on why we should believe this report on why we should be having this conversation of Erling Haaland potentially moving to FC Barcelona. Now first things first, number one, Oriol Domenech who was the reporter that put out this statement, he is the exact same reporter and journalist that broke out the news of Frankie de Jong moving to Barcelona. He also did break out the news of De Ligt moving to Juventus and so he does have a very strong track record when it does come to players potentially moving to this club. He is very very reliable. Then moving on to the second point, 
point and that is that Raiola is an agent that does like to call out either players managers or presidents if they are giving out misinformation for example a couple of days ago we did have Emily Razad who was a former presidential candidate of Barcelona he did claim to the media and said I have spoken to the agent of Erling Haaland I know all the details I know what it is going to take for Erling Haaland to come to Barcelona I do know everything and then a couple of hours later the agent came out and said this is not true. I have not spoken to anyone about Haaland potentially moving away from Borussia Dortmund. And so as of now, because Mino Raiola has not said a word about this statement here, does remain strong. And then moving on to the last key point, and that is going to be about Laporta and Mino Raiola's strong relationship. And this is something that many of us do know by now. Laporta and Raiola are, are actually great friends. They do hold a very strong relationship. They do like to do business with each other. And I do think that because of that, because of that, that very healthy and strong relationship between the agent and Laporta, a deal like this can be done. And I do believe that that is part of the reason why we are hearing that Mino Raiola is going to do everything in his power to bring this player to Barcelona. It is because Laporta has that authority. Laporta does have that leverage over Raiola and this transfer. Now, I do want to further clear out this statement because another because another curiosity that has been going on in the media is what does it mean by Raiola doing everything in his power to get this transfer done? Done. What is he going to do exactly? It basically just means that Raiola is going to be heavily involved within this transfer, meaning that there could be a potential negotiation between Raiola and Dorman explaining how could we lower the fee of Erling Haaland in a post pandemic world? Because keep in mind, these negotiations, these contracts that were taking place when Haaland did sign to Dorman was in a pre pandemic world. And now that we're in a post pandemic world, there could be a chance that Raiola is going to be wanting Dorman to lower the fee or even these negotiations and this is going to be the final verdict of Erling Haaland no we are not going to see Haaland in this January transfer window it is completely impossible for Barcelona to bring in a player at this time the only time and the only way we can officially start to say that there is some sort of possibility for this player to come to the club would be in the summer of 2021 and even at that time that is going to be a stretch but if Barcelona do sell the transfer of Erling Haaland is going to greatly increase and now I do want to move on towards Eric Garcia. So when we are talking about this young Spaniard center back, there is a 90% chance that Eric Garcia is going to be wearing a Barcelona shirt in about four to five weeks. The chances are very, very high. And it says here, according to Fernando Polo, that Eric Garcia is approaching closer to Barcelona. City will be lowering the demands with a total of 5 million euros plus another 5 million euros in variables, which could also be paid in the summer. Garcia and Barcelona Barcelona have agreed to terms already and his signing is pending the okay of the candidates of Barcelona. Now we know that part of the reason why Barcelona are so eager to complete this move so early it is because part of the reason is about Eric Garcia. Eric Garcia does himself want to move to Barcelona as soon as possible. We have seen Garcia try to push for that move in the summer but it was impossible. Barcelona cannot meet the demands. Everything was already agreed but now that we are here six months later in January Garcia is going to be wanting to push for that that move yet again. It has also been said that Garcia is very popular within the club. Coaches like Ronald Koeman and the assistant and even to the sporting director, they all love Eric Garcia and they do believe that Garcia can bring great value to this club as soon as he does put the pen on paper. And look, I'm going to give my opinion on this transfer. I do think that this is a great reinforcement for Barcelona, especially when it does come to the conversation of building for the long-term future for this club. No, I do not think that Eric Garcia is going to come in here and act like a quick solution for the defensive line. I do think that it is going to take some time. But again, if we're going to be talking about the long-term future for this club, Eric Garcia is a great signing. And I also believe that this could also very well be a sign of the potential exits we could see in the summer of 2021. Now, the only thing that's truly missing to complete this move is going to be the final say of the future president, which is something that Barcelona do not have at the moment, which is now going to lead us towards the last topic of today. Now, let me tell you guys, when it comes to the elections, 
right now it is certainly not looking good for this club we do have some very interesting details when it does come to the presidential candidates we know that emily razad has taken the step down he wanted to join forces with tony freisha and this is very interesting to me because emily razad did work under president bartomeu and the fact that we are hearing emily razad wanting to work under tony freisha is really telling me so much on who freisha really is but that is besides the point we do have the final presidential candidates that are going to be moving towards the final phase and that is going to be la porta with a total of 9625 valid signatures we also do have victor font with a total of 4431 valid signatures and then we also have tony freisha who has a total of 2634 valid signatures and now that we stand here today with this barcelona club with three presidential candidates there is one very big problem that's going on in catalonia and that is that the elections could be postponed and the main reason why there is a possibility that the elections could be postponed it is because of the health reasons it is because of what's currently going on around the world it has been stated that if they do hold the elections on january 24th there could be massive consequences because the socios because the average age for the socios is like around 67 years old and the fact that we we're putting these people in jeopardy in a post pandemic world is something that does not resonate within the city so there's going to be two meetings that is going to be taking place on friday now hear me out i'm going to try my absolute best to clear this out and make it very very simple to understand what could happen in tomorrow's meeting so there's going to be two the first one is going to be about carlos tusquets having a meeting with the presidential candidates at 7 p.m it says here according to fernando polo that many topics like the postponement of the elections will be discussed among those will be regarding eric garcia and the possibility of advancing his arrival then there is going to be a second meeting between barcelona and the government and within that meeting they are going to be going towards a conclusion on whether they should be postponing the elections or not and so here's the thing right i think that it's very interesting to hear that the minister of health of catalonia is giving barcelona the call whether they should be advancing the elections or not because look if the minister of health is giving barcelona the free will to take this decision i don't think that they see a problem in the first place because if the minister of health did actually see a problem on advancing these elections they would just say it outright but the fact that they're giving the responsibility towards this club should already be enough for tusquets to say we should advance these elections i do think that everything is going to be okay and i do believe that that is the direction tusquets should take they should advance the elections under the right procedures there is a way there is no reason to postpone these elections and so now hearing that the minister of health is going to give the responsibility towards the club of fc barcelona i do think that the first meeting between the presidential candidates and tusquets is going to really matter but here's the big plot twist within these presidential candidates they do have different opinions we do have victor font who is on the side of we should postpone the elections into a further date and i quote he said we're in the middle of the third wave Forty thousand socios and the socios are over 60 max risk we should postpone and then we also have laporta who is also going to be in that meeting saying we should not postpone the elections are you crazy this club needs sustainability this club needs leadership so it's going to be very interesting to hear just how all of this does turn out and the final conclusion is going to be tomorrow so whatever does happen after those meetings are over we are going to be talking about it here in this youtube channel so that is going to be it for today's barcelona daily news thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and i will see you guys in the next video